My name is Dustin's Dojo, and I'm a trained black belt, and I learned to be a black belt at Roger Baker's Taekwondo and Pizza, Pensacola, Florida. <laughs> this is my friend Terry, and I am his sensei. <laughs> When I moved here from Pensacola, I didn't have very many friends, and Terry did not have very many friends either. I saw his mom Harriet at the parlor, and she said that she had a son named Terry, and we instantly became friends. What we do is very hard, and not anyone can do it. Do you make a living teaching yeah. karate? My job is a karate expert. I make karate videos and teach other people how to fight off attackers. My first dream is to be a karate expert and to teach everyone in the whole world how to fight off attackers, and then my other dream is to star in karate movies. Okay, well, um... <laughs> Are you snorting down there? Yes, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Why uh, are you always turning around? You never know where there's gonna be an attacker, so you always have to be on guard. <laughs> are you worried that you're gonna get attacked here? Yeah. In Hollywood, there's many attackers. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are good. <laughs> Well, are you gonna do a demonstration? Yeah, today we're gonna do three different things. First, I'm gonna break wood, and Terry's gonna hold it. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then we're gonna break the world record for most full extension punches thrown in 60 seconds. And then finally, I'm gonna throw a karate combo, and when I least expect it, Terry's gonna throw salt into my eyes, and I'm gonna fight through the pain. <laughs> If you don't get it. As you can see, I handled that pretty well. <laughs> Thank you for watching this demonstration of Dr. Dojo. Woo! Nice. Mixed opinion than Hardy. Put that through! Put that through! Um, I, I'll tell you something. That is the most I have laughed. Me too. Why don't I think that's funny? I don't think this is funny one bit. Oh, come on. I, I'm only uh, saying this for the benefit of, of, of my fellow judges who hit the X. These two guys are comedians. They're in the tradition of yes. the Three Stooges. Yes. What they've done here is lampooned to the T everything that goes on in a martial <laughs> arts studio. Where is Terry going, sir? Terry was looking for an attacker. <laughs> That's what I mean. I love to laugh. I get that it's meant to be comedy. I get that it's meant to be really funny. Are. To me, it wasn't funny. To me, it was annoying. You actually remind me. Wow. Wow. I don't get this. It reminds me of one of these boys that one of my sons brings home. Yes. Like a play date. You know, the kind that I don't want to invite back to the house. If, Dustin, if you are lucky enough to move forward, do you have plans for the next round? Yes, we have very many other skills and abilities, and if we go through to the next round, all of your dreams will come true. Let's go. Dustin, I think what you do is amazingly funny. I love you, I'm giving you a yes. I loved it as well, and, and I'm giving you a big, enthusiastic yes. And you both would have said no to the market. It's not my sense of humor at all. For me, it's a big no. Well, I beg you. I beg no, you. No, I mean, I just, I didn't get it and I didn't find it funny. And I like to laugh, and that wasn't funny to me, so it's a no. I am sorry, but that means that you didn't get through. Howard, where are you going? Take a deep breath. Sit down. Howard. So you have two no. You know, you know I've got the golden buzzer here. Golden 
buzzer once per season, and he has used it for Dustin's dojo. I've done it for you. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Hey, welcome to the AGT page. Now click right there to subscribe or to watch more videos. He does a little dance routine. Oh, dance routine? Yep. So we did a battle. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you do? Yeah, yeah dance-ish performance. What's up, man? Hi. How you doing? Very good. Hi, Hi. what's your name? My name is Kenichi. I'm 38 years old. I'm from Tokyo, Japan. And I'll be performing dance-ish performance. A little bit of uh, robots. OK. And dance and martial arts and my Wow. Dancing is my passion. My dream is to do my full-length one-man show in Vegas. That's why I'm here. I'm ready to see something I've never seen before. Yes. You gonna give it to him? Yeah. Go get him, man. Have fun out there. Hi there. Look at you. Hello. What's your name? My name is Kenichi Ebina. What is your act? Um, my act is dance-ish performance. Dance-ish? Ish, yes. OK. How did you get into dance-ish kind of? Um, I knew only the one step called the Running Man. Like. <laughs> and uh, when I did it, people got loud. And I was like, yeah. And so I was like, oh, I feel good. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. I loved it. The yeah. stuff that you did, I haven't seen anything like it before. You have a control over your body that is unbelievable. Thank you, thank you. Being the youngest judge on the panel, I can say that was off the chain. Thank you. Honey, you're no spring chicken. What are you talking about? Oh, I am. About? Oh. I thought your head had come off your body. It was that convincing. <laughs> We see a lot of guys who come on stage who try to do what you do. They can't do it, and you have a story to tell. Uh, you know, you were doing The Matrix there. That was the whole movie, all in 90 <laughs> seconds. It was awesome. It was magnificent. I could watch you all day. Me too. Thank you. Right? Yes. How? I'm telling you, that is the best dance we have seen in Chicago. It's the best dance I've seen in a long time. Thank you. You told a great story. Yes. You were wonderful. Thank you, yes. Let's vote, guys. I'm gonna start it up with a big yes. Thank you. <laughs> I like what Heidi does with her eyes when she votes. It's a yes. <laughs> no, it's a yes from me. You were thank great. You, thank you. And my vote is yesish. Thank you. We are Vegas. Thank you. Hello, boys and girls of YouTube. Click below to watch more. <laughs> You're gonna love it. All right, welcome. So tell us your name, age, and where you're from. Okay. Tell me about the judges. What do you think about Howard Stern? Howie Mandel? What do you think of Heidi? What about Mel B? Here we go. 
Here we go. How did I do that? Hello. Oh, this is gonna go well. You know, my... I have to say... Whoops. I have to say, my favorite thing is to interview a mime. <laughs> I would ask you your name, but I'm just going to call you the mime. Is that okay? All right. Listen, I tell you what, let's see your mime. How's that? Maybe that's the best thing. To do. Maybe now you'll use the microphone because I think after four X's you might want to give up mime and start talking to him. I mean, the best part was this gentleman coming out giving a mime a microphone. That was the funniest bit. <laughs> Sorry. It didn't have a story. I think if you had a story to tell, then we could follow it. It didn't really have content. Howie, um, walking against the wind and being trapped in an imaginary box isn't going to dazzle an audience to give you one million dollars. That's true. All right, Howie, vote please. No. No. No for me too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's uh, four no's, but thanks for performing for us. Where do you guys get off telling me how to mine? Well, you know, I guess because we're appointed, I'll, I'll speak for the panel. Well, you know how hard it is to not talk? Do you know how hard it is to not talk? No, you don't, because all you do is run your mouth, Howard. That's all you do. You're a moron. That's what you are. A moron. Hold it a second. Boo yourself! I am Boo yourself! I understand. I understand that you... Can't take it. You, you're bald, you don't like to touch people, spicy girl. Supermodels aren't supposed to talk anyway. Boo yourself! You? No! What? Who do you think you're going to Security, security. Watch it. Who do you think you're going to Watch it. I didn't have it. No, I didn't have it. It's you! It's you! That's next! YouTube fans. We want to thank you so much for watching. So you could subscribe now or watch more of America's Got Talent? And all you got to do is click right here. Tonight I'll start by having not just one but three judges choose cards at random. Howard, starting with you. Go ahead and just slide out anyone there. There's a lot of pressure on me, you know. Oh yeah. I'm not used to it. It's okay if I see the card. I've seen this trick before. Please show it to the judge's camera there. There it is. Great. And Heidi, if you could please slide out anyone from the middle there. Perfect. And hold it up for the camera so everyone can see it. And last but not least, if you could, Howie, just go ahead and slide out one. Hey, you don't get one. <laughs> Don't worry, Mel, I haven't forgotten about you. In the meantime, I'd like to take all of your cards. One, two, three. Mel, please hold up your hand right about here, and I'm gonna have you hold all three cards right there. Do you have your phone on you? I always have my phone on me. If it's okay with you, I'd like to take a picture of you holding those three cards. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, all three of them right here, the six, four, and two. In fact, Melby, if you could just hold them up a little bit higher, we'll get one more picture just in case. Yeah, all right? Great. If you could just <laughs> set the cards down. Now that we have photo proof of the cards, there's no way I can switch them in. Oh my God. Oh, are you Mel. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm sorry, it got a little bit wet. Um, see if you can uh, turn the phone on, see if you can fix it there. Oh. Don't worry, I, I have a backup plan. Can you turn it on? 
No, it's on. It's not turning on. Okay, let me see if I can actually uh, fix Mel B's phone. There's a two-step process. It's very simple, Mel. Step one is isolate the phone. Watch. Step two, Mel, is drying it off. Look. Great. <laughs> That's not a bad sign. Not only is your phone fixed, but it's actually, believe it or not, gone. No. Now, everyone's smiling and clapping except for Mel B. I'm so yeah. sorry. I'll tell you what, if your phone really is fixed, we should be able to hear it across America if we call it. Heidi, could you please call Mel's phone right now? Call it now. Okay, okay, okay. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Have you Everyone? Heard my favorites? So that you, you are, Mel, Mel, Mel. Listen closely. We might even hear it. It's ringing. Do you hear that? Where is Mel, it? we need to find exactly where it is. Yeah, it's in the building. Do. Come with me, Mel. Come this way. This is crazy. Come over here. It sounds like I hear it coming from this side of the room. Can you hear that? I, I don't know. I just need to find it. Uh, you, guys, you guys feel something in this section? You guys are it's pointing. There. You hear it? I hear it. Uh, so you have your hand raised, yes? Could you please stand? Uh, and all three of you, please stand, actually. Right here on the end, stand up and just make your way into the aisle. Could I have you three up as well? Sure. Step out this way. Uh, excuse me just a second. Mel, I want you to stand right here. Just sit here. Stand there. Watch everything I do. This is about to get dangerous. <laughs> Watch! Uh. Mel, I've cut open the seat here. I don't want to do anything. I want you to reach inside. Reach over the seat from there. Yep, reach just reach over. Seat. You got this. I felt something. Dig inside right here. Reach inside there. Oh, my God. See if you can find anything, Mel. Oh, my God! <laughs> Hold on. If... Thank you so much. But if this really is your phone, you'll see it's got the picture that we started with. No! <laughs> Holding... Please wait. There are thousands of seats here at Radio City, but your phone was somehow inside this seat. How is that possible? Mel, look at the seat number. Six, four, two. No! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you. Thanks for stopping by. You want to see more? You want to subscribe? Just click right here, and you'll see more talent from AGT. <laughs> If I was on your side of this, I'd be clicking it. Where are you from? I'm originally from uh, American Samoa, but I'm stationed in Georgia. Okay, okay. Stationed? That means you're in the military. Yes. Okay. My name is Paul Yeti. I'm 21 years old, and I'm a soldier in the US Army. What do you do? I'm a, I'm a singer. Oh, nice. Singing has always been a big part of my life. It, I grew up singing in a church. And recently, when we were deployed to Afghanistan for nine months, my battle buddies, they, they would ask me to sing something for them to, to take us away for a little bit. So music means a lot to you. It's more than just a, a talent. This is something that gets you through hard times. When you're out there, it's just being scared of not going home. You, you don't know if you're going to see tomorrow, but you have to be brave for yourself, for your country, for your family, for your friends. And when I was scared, music was there. And it feels good to know that my singing and my music can comfort someone else. It means the world to me. It just... <laughs> this is a stage. You risked your life for our country. Man, this is your dream. This is what got you through it in the tough times, and now you get to share it with the rest of the world. Couldn't ask for anything better than this moment right now. To continue to enjoy life as a free American. They're out there, they're cheering for you. They want you. Go get them. Hi. Hello, and what is your name? Uh, my name is Paul Yeti. And where are you from? I'm originally from American Samoa. But... And what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a soldier in the U.S. Army station in Savannah, Georgia.
that's a wonderful choice. We thank you for your service. Why, why did you choose the military as a life path? Um, I joined straight out of high school, and it was something to serve my country and to give back. I'm active service. We just got back from deployment to Afghanistan for nine months. Oh, wow. Oh. So you've seen action. Wow. Wow. We, we thank you very much for that. And what are you going to do for us tonight? I'm singing. Have you been singing for a long time? All my life, music has been a comfort zone for me, and this was a really big deal in Afghanistan, and it got me and my brothers and sisters, you know, it was our escape whenever I'd sing. Well, thank you for bringing it here to us. I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. very unassuming and very nervous and very shy and then all of a sudden you started to sing and a sound came out of you that nobody expected you are amazing you are super special i think you're a superstar you move us and you definitely captivated us god bless you you did a great job up there let's vote it's a yes from me, Mel B. A definite yes from me. You're amazing. Heidi Klum. I think you're fabulous. It's a yes. Howard Stern. You did a great job. It's a yes. Can't wait Four to see you yes. again. Hi there, YouTube fans. We want to thank you so much for watching. So you could subscribe now or watch more of America's Got Talent? And all you got to do is click right here.